I got my start in franchising in 2015. I took a job with Soccer Shots Franchising. They are headquartered in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, it was actually a dual role, so half franchise development and half marketing. My major was marketing, but um, got my foot in the door having this kind of 50-50 split with, between the departments. I was binding FDDs, dealing with franchise renewals. Um, and so I learned a lot about franchising, having that involvement in the franchise development side and then working on the marketing side, which was truly my passion doing social media, working with franchise partners on materials that they needed. And um, that was my first start. And that was really just a great learning base for me in franchising because I got to learn the franchise development side of things and then also the marketing side. My favorite part about the franchise industry is definitely the community. I've met so many amazing people in franchising that I've had the opportunity to learn from. I've gained some really great mentors from franchising that I look up to and are always willing to help me with what I need, steer me in the right direction. Um, and then just peers as well. Um, those in franchising are always willing to extend an ear and tell you about their experiences, what they're doing in their system, um, how you can improve what you're doing. So definitely the community is my favorite part. An important trait that I see for those in franchising is just the ability to adapt. Um, especially if you're working for an emerging brand, you really have to be able to see the opportunity through what might be a messy situation, those who are still trying to figure out their processes. So just really being able to adapt. So obviously set your goals and chase them down, but move the goalposts when you need to, um, adjust your strategy when you need to, and just realizing that things would often move in a straight line. So adaptability would definitely be a trait. Yeah, I am personally um, excited about the comeback in the other, uh, sorry. See, now I'm messing up. See, it did not go well. No, um, no worries. That's all good. Yeah, I'm personally excited about the comeback for the franchising industry. I think a lot of people are reevaluating what they want out of their jobs. Um, what either fulfills them at work or if they want additional flexibility. So I think more people are turning to franchising, those that might be in the corporate world and have decided, hey, I actually want to work remote. I want a more flexible schedule. I don't want um, a commute. So I think it's a big opportunity for those in franchising to really extend themselves and meet these people where they are because franchising is a great opportunity for these people who are looking to have a more flexible lifestyle or something that fulfills um, their passions. So excited about that because I think that more people are just realizing that franchising is an option and that you don't have to stay where you are in your current job if you're not happy. Um, aside from that, I, I'm personally also excited about the shift in some of the demographics that we're seeing as far as franchise ownership. So there's definitely now a larger percentage of women um, seeking information about franchise ownership, becoming franchise owners. I'm on the Women's Franchise Committee um, for the IFA. And so we're really, you know, a, meant to empower women and, and to educate them about um, franchising. And so I know that there was just a recent study that came out that more than half of the prospects right now for franchise ownership are women. So I'm excited to see more women come into franchise ownership and more women take leadership roles um, from franchisors. And the same respect as more women coming in franchising, I think we're also seeing a lot of younger um, individuals come into franchising as well. So I think millennials right now are outpacing boomers as far as um, looking into franchising opportunities. So that's exciting too, that younger individuals are realizing franchise ownership could be the right path for them. My advice for young up-and-comers in the franchising industry is just be willing to jump into new projects and figure them out along the way. 
or jump into a job that you're not ready for. I, as I mentioned, I started with a role that was um, half franchise development, which I wasn't expecting and half marketing. And I learned so much taking that job just about franchising in general that really helped me then be able to market in the franchising space. So, um, you know, opportunity doesn't follow this linear job description and really just jump into projects, figure out where you can find value for your company. Even if it's not in your job description, you will learn so much along the way um, and really improve your skill set.